In an emergency, CPR can mean the difference between life and death. And last month it did when a teenager collapsed on an Orange County basketball court. And now the town of Chester is honoring the person who revived that teenager even before paramedics arrived. It was his 14 year old friend. News 4's Ida Siegel has the story. And on what's the address of the emergency? Um, we're at the Ele Chester Elementary School. It was a 911 call Inside that was meant to be. Building. Listen carefully, okay? Lay him flat on his back on the ground and remove anything from under his head. Do it now. Tell me when it's done. Lay him flat on the ground. Lay him on the ground. 14-year-old Tyshawn James made the urgent call after his good friend collapsed on the basketball court outside Chester Elementary School. As like the second game goes on, he goes to sit down, he just collapses. It turned out his friend, 14 years old, has congenital heart disease and he was in cardiac arrest. He needed to be resuscitated as quickly as possible. So the dispatcher told Tyshawn what he had to do. I want you to count out loud so I can count with you, okay? You're going to go at this rate, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's right. Tyshawn had to learn CPR under the most stressful conditions, and he did it. One, two, Three, four, one. Just let me know when somebody's there with you. Keep doing those compressions. You're doing good. I was like, his life is on the line. What if, it, if anything goes wrong, if I miss a heartbeat or if I miss one pump, he could potentially die. Well, I noticed that he started breathing a little better. Tyshawn and the 911 dispatcher, Stuart Matthew, who calmly walked him through it, were both honored by the county, both receiving medals for saving a boy's life. True heroes, ordinary people doing extraordinary things. For a child caller, that was superb. You couldn't have asked for a, a better caller. EMTs were able to rush the friend to the hospital, and he is now expected to make a full recovery. I feel good that he made it. At first, I didn't really think too much of it as a big deal. Cause, like a lot of people I've never even talked to before, just telling me like, "Hey, you're the neighborhood hero. You did this. You you saved his life. It feels good." Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.